Starting Grid Incorporated has had a core mission to provide minorities with equal opportunities in motorsports. Today, they and Brian Herta Autosport are giving high schoolers from Gary, Indiana, an inside look at IndyCar. Starting Grid has elevated the exposure of motorsports within urban communities and has long been the leader of connecting minorities with the racing world. Lou Wallace Academy and the Westside Leadership Academy began their day in Indianapolis by doing what everybody needs to do, visit the Mecca of Motorsports, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Students got a personal tour of the IMS Hall of Fame Museum. That's 30,000 square feet of IndyCar racing history to take in. After leaving IMS, they visited the race shop of the 2011 Indy 500 champion, Brian Herta Autosport. Our goal was to make sure that they had a level of engagement, and by doing that, they've now become inspired in one way or another. These two Gary Community Schools have technology and science-based curriculums, taking what they are learning in school and applying that to tire compounds, fuel chemistries, physics, and aerodynamics. Students are now seeing firsthand how IndyCar crew members rely heavily on math and science. That's a level of engagement that we had to show these kids that they could participate, and I think they saw that today. Starting Grid was also participating in conjunction with Social Media Week which gave students from Gary a very unique experience. So check it out. Kids from the Lou Wallace STEM Academy and the Westside Leadership Academy from Gary are here in Indianapolis at Brian Herta Autosport, Skyping in with folks in Compton, California to talk about their experiences today at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and here at Brian Herta Autosport. This is actually probably my fifth time doing something of this nature. Uh, you know, the fortunate thing is we have the resources to do this. Those resources include IndyCar owner and former driver, Brian Herta. He's a gift. I mean, for him and his organization who have won the Indy 500 to embrace us for what we're aspiring to do, not only on track uh, with bringing more minority participation, but also opening up the race shop and providing this type of hospitality. I couldn't ask for a better uh, partner as far as a racing team's concerned. Brian Herta Autosport partnered with Starting Grid as a race team has had success, most recently with Zimbabwe native Axel Jeffries. To have had him associated with our program is dynamic. I mean, uh, before this year, we hadn't really looked at coming and racing in America. Our career had always been focused in Europe and pursuing a Formula One you know, dream and, and goal. What he's done, uh, being able to come over and really truly embrace the American way of racing, because in Europe, let's face it, it's, it's very technical, it's very serious, and that's not to say he all of a sudden came over here and had a chance to relax. He brought that same mentality over here, but yet he was also able to see a funner, lighter side, and I think that actually enhanced his racing capabilities. I'm, I'm happy to say it's been a successful opportunity that they've given me and uh, we had our first race a, a month ago in mid-Ohio and uh, that went very well. Drivers like Axel maintain a strict conditioning workout and diet in order to stay in shape. Uh, training I would say we spend at least you know, about two hours a day minimum training. Um, you know, go, we'll spend an hour cardio and then another hour of weights. We do a lot of work on our neck because sometimes we can experience up to 5G's so our neck really has to be you know, prepared. Axel is a prime example of starting grid success. Now he wants to give back. Everything's changed since then. You know, I'm talking, I know it's not long ago, but six, seven years, so much has happened and people's perspective and things. You know, when I was racing in South Africa at the time, I was the only person of color racing, but now it's 50-50. Definitely if you want to achieve something, you, you, can, you can work at it and you can get there. And that's, that's hopefully what we're trying to, trying to show the kids in Gary today. It's like a very big deal. I appreciate a lot that I got to come out here and like get to experience like stuff that I normally probably wouldn't experience. I didn't realize how much technology went into racing. I'm just trying to do my part in the sense of I have a level of uh, engagement with them in the motorsports realm. If I can bring them along, then all the better. And bring them along he did. The Gary Community Schools were given the distinct honor to have their logo be put on the car for the Grand Prix of Houston. For the Chevrolet Indiana Prep Zone, I'm Lauren Downey.